<sighs> what a beautiful morning on the server, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to Primal Fear on the Crystal Isles. We are back and it is morning. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day for some dinosaur team. And I think, yeah, we ain't building a base just yet. I know. I know. I've read your comments. A lot of you guys want me off of this beach. You guys be calling it like Death Beach and stuff. I know, all right? We've, we've faced a lot of... <laughs> we faced a lot of difficulty living out here. Uh, but look, I, I got a feeling today will be okay. I don't think I don't think there's any threats in the area, at least from my, my observations. We've tamed them all. I mean, look around. We got apex dinosaurs now. We got we got two apex sarcos right here. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them two big old look at those smiles. They're happy to serve. They're happy to protect. <laughs> They're happy to protect our tiny little wooden shack. But yeah, don't worry. We are hopefully going to be moving bases by the end of this week. I've been reading through your comments, trying to uh, suss out your suggestions on where we should go and live. But you didn't leave me as many as I'd actually hoped. Or at least maybe they're all just hidden down at the bottom of the comment sections. But anyways, thanks everybody for all the comments lately. Uh, we've been getting hundreds. We're going to be getting thousands. It's been ridiculous. Thanks to everybody who's been dropping thumbs ups on the video, who's been subscribed. Honestly, just thanks for everybody watching and supporting me, my videos, the channel. It, it actually is really, really touching. Whenever I read comments, people talking about like getting their daily dose of, of me, I, I, it's like, I don't know. It's kind of, it's cool. I just want to thank you all. You make me feel very, very special. Uh, but let's get into today's video. I've actually gotten an idea out of uh, the comments of some of our recent videos for this one here, or at least where we're going to begin today. I asked a couple days ago where we can like find ourselves a nice big source of rare mushrooms. It's something we've been kind of struggling with. Um, and other than beaver dams or, you know, taking down little mushroom trees or fungal trees or whatever you want to call them, we haven't really found a good source for the old buggers until now. Yeah, reading through your comments, you guys helped me out with this. Supposedly, Elder Moss Chopsers may be the answer to our problem. And we've had these guys around us for such a long time. Um, these big old Moss Chopsers, the oversized ones. We literally used one in one of our very early episodes of this series um, in a thumbnail. I took a photo of the giant fella. They're, they're enormous. The only thing is we've never actually thought about taming one. Or maybe we did think about it. Uh, also, there are a few old ghastly fellas out here. These guys are ever, they're migrating. At least they're migrating away from our base for a change. It's its not often the... Uh, oh, no. Oh, I see spiders. Okay. This be troublesome. Uh, where you find these little apex spiders, you soon after find an apex broodmother who is giving birth to them. Uh, so, oh, I keep forgetting about this guy as well. <laughs> Anyways, let's dedicate... Or de uh, designate. Not dedicate. Let's designate some of these levels real quick. I'm going to throw one into speed. Uh, on my dude here. And then 13 levels of my own? How does that make any sense? All right, fine. I don't know what's going on with our leveling. I actually went and checked it. I told you the other day that, I don't know, weird things were happening with our leveling and we're kind of starting to like level up a lot faster than we originally had planned. Um, or at least as far as we originally began leveling. Um, I went and had a check and everything's right where it's meant to be. In fact, I even turned down the leveling rate to slow it down a little bit. All I can really tie it down to is that we're killing stronger dinosaurs. I think that's all there is to it. Here we go. All right, you were going to find one sooner or later. But yeah, we're killing alphas, apexes, fabled dinosaurs, and plenty of them. And I think as a result, we're just um, getting more experience. So we might need to have a little bit of like a rethink on how we're going to work out the experience in this world but anyways let's have a little looky over here all right i don't actually know much about these elder moss chopsters i don't know what they require or say look at the little zom dodo bugger off buddy leave me alone uh yeah i don't know much about these oh we got a little baby one next to us too oh, i thought that was gonna be a heavenly one uh either way this oh oh snap you just require kibble oh you're an easy tame but it's only level 220 do we want to like try and i think we should try and find a higher level to be honest why not wait like Let's just do it. Let's actually try and find something a little bit stronger. Also, just saying, this little divine triceratops looks spectacular. And also specular. Very uh, reflective of the light. Anyways, these elder moss chopsters, uh, they've been quite common through our journey. We got some wyverns out here too. Speaking of wyverns, <gasps> I can actually tame them now, I'm pretty sure. I'm, let me just... All right, look, this guy's stuck. So it's a pretty good opportunity to just fly down here and take a little peek, right? So, no, 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 where are you going? Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm pretty sure we had to be like level 65 to feed them. Um, Let me just... Yes. <gasps> I can feed them. Oh, we could tame a tropical wyvern. 
These are the uh, tropic. These are the native wyverns to the map. We haven't really. Well, yeah, we've spent no time like dealing with them yet. They're literally the whole point of this of this map, this world. They're the home of them, after all. I'll say this could actually be a very handy inclusion right here. A divine mole rat. Wait, mole rat? Aren't they called roll rats? Or am I like, have I lost the plot? Also, hello. Hello, probe Geratidon. I don't have any probe dino food. Okay. All right. These dinosaurs are getting a little bit hectic right here. Let me just get, get out of here before I get caught in the crossfire. Um, I do see... That's a fabled uh, Bronto, by the way. But down there is an Alpha Enforcer. I'm looking for an Apex Enforcer. I got a little bit excited there. Hold on. I'm just going to go and drop a little bomb real quick. I didn't even get the kill. Oh, man. I was hoping for the Alpha kill. Get some loot or something. Anyway, Fabled Bronto. Uh, maybe we'll get at least some Fabled Blood and some Fabled Hide real quick. Real quick. Oh, baby. And maybe even some loot. Oh, I see a backpack. Oh, I see a backpack. Oh, so <laughs> There's so many toxic uh, dinosaurs out and about. All right. Sorry, track. But thanks for the blood. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the Enforcer. That's right. I think I harvested the Enforcer as well. We just got a bunch of black pearl. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Nice. We can actually like start spreading some. Uh... Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we're hitting the jackpot today, baby. Also, I have no idea why I do that. Whenever I go to pull over the inventory of a dead dinosaur, I hit escape every single time. And every single time. Oh, dear. What is going on over here? We got some overspawns going on. Uh, no must chops. There's alpha dodos, though. They could be handy for the alpha kibble. Damn, there's a lot of issue. Thought it says... Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> All right. Here's what I was going to do, though. I was going to drop one of these bombs. Boom. Yeah. That's what dreams are made of, baby. All right. All right. All right. Back to the elder must chops hunt. I need to find one. Also, what is with all the brachios? This whole island is just swimming with dinosaurs. Kind of crazy. Uh, oh, I gotta tame up one of these guys as well at some point. The old big old turtle. Mega. Maybe this is the answer to our problems. Although I, I, I doubt it. But maybe, maybe we could build a base on a giant turtle. I mean, I know you can do it. Maybe we should. No, we probably shouldn't. Let's let's be real with ourselves here. Uh, <laughs> there's only one way that goes, and probably not the right way. We probably just end up dead. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of megalodons. There's giant squids that are coming up to the surface for some reason. There's a lot going on up here. And yeah, I feel, I feel like I feel like it wouldn't last. Anyways, let's actually find what we're looking for, yo. Let's find... Eee, now we're to... Uh, level 180? This guy does look cooler than the other one that we found, though. He looks much, much, much cooler. I mean, he's orange, after all. I, I like orange. Orange is a nice color in a dinosaur. Um, but is he the one? No, he's not. He's only level 180. I'm kind of hoping for something over level 500. I'm pretty sure the max level in this world is about 600. So something in like that top 10% of max levels would really, really, really be like a nice range to be hitting. But we just got to find the right one, I suppose. <gasps> ooh, hello there. Oh, it's primal. Okay, no, I thought it was, I was like, ooh, a glowing alpha raptor. Nope, that's a primal raptor with nearly 40 million health. We're going to avoid that. Oh, yes, indeed, we are. But while we're searching around for this elder must chops to tame up, may I kindly, kindly mention, hey, you know what's great? May I kindly ask if you do enjoy this video, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. And hey, if you want to catch more of my videos, then you know what you should do? Hit that subscribe button, that big old subscribe button, ring the bell while you're at it, and make sure you do not miss any of our future uploads. Also, I think that's the first of the primal dinosaurs that I've actually taken out myself. Did he drop any loot? Oh, he would have dropped some loot. He would have dropped a blueprint. Hmm... Yeah, I'm not really, not really interested, I'll be honest. I would say we should be careful because this is the last place that we saw an Apex Broodmother. And as expected, look at the little army of Apex Aradios. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where the Broodmother is, but he's around here somewhere. We know that for certain. All right, come on, Elder Moss Chops. Guys, lead me to it. I'm going to go find the right one and I'll I'll be back. With oh, here he is. <laughs> Not the mask chops. No, 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 no. The the apex brood mother. All right, let's keep let's keep looking. Ah, here we go. Now that is what I am talking about. Oh, look at you. It looks like a reasonable. Oh, it's two of them. We've got a, a is that a that's oh, that's 220 and that's a 580. Oh, sure. Oh, no, he's getting attacked. Oh, all right. We got to play this careful then. Way, 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 way careful. All right. You know what? 
Watch this. Hey, Dreadful Raptor! Come for me. Come for me. And you'll see a world of pure death. Death and destruction, baby. <laughs> Anyways, he's taken care of. Where do the older moss jobs go? He's... Nope, that's not him. Wait, where is he? Oh. Oh! Oh, Apex Thorny Dragon. Ooh. I reckon this guy killed me very early on in our series, by the way. We died to one of them around these parts. Yeah, that guy, that guy definitely killed us very, very early on. But what happened to the moss jobs? I, <laughs> I lost our target after all of that. Um, Kind of considering taking down the old thorny dragon because he's only going to make our life difficult um but on top of that i don't know where the i don't know where our moss jobs went i saved his butt and he just he just bowed on us all right how much health does he have? oh man i can take down the apex with one little one little swipe thanks buddy appreciate it but i don't appreciate this oh no moss chops running away from me where did he go nobody knows oh i'll find him oh you just watch oh come on he couldn't have gone that far did I kill it accidentally or something? Guy had like a lot of health, I'm pretty sure. Aha! I see you there. No, that's the 220! Ah, oh, the game really gonna force me to tame up a low level one, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what happened to the big fella. He's gone. He's, I, I can't find him. Either he's hiding under the trees or he's hiding underground and I'm never gonna find him. So I think we're just gonna settle in. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. This is how we knock things out now. <laughs> Wait, why don't I stay on the back of my dude? Why don't I? Ah, whatever. Take that. I should probably, uh, probably should have listened to my, you know, second guessing of myself. Oh, these guys are, are they quick? I can't tell if they're quick or just derpy. They're trying to run around, but then he just gets stuck on absolutely everything he runs into. <laughs> anyway, go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. Come on. Come on. You only need like a tiny little dribble of torpor. Hey, there he goes. All right, so we're going to need four little bits of simple kibble uh, or vegetables or medjo berries. Well, uh, where am I? Wait, it doesn't matter where I am. I just realized something. I don't know why I don't utilize this a little more often. We can just do this now. I've gone so long without a teleporter remote. It's literally been seasons. I think like last, last season, obviously the Pugnation mod has a built-in teleporter uh, so we don't have the remotes because we didn't have the awesome teleporters mod um you guys got any no eggs no eggs guys come on the four of you no apex eggs um but oh hey bunny oh hey bunny i still got to tame up one of those guys i think anyways yeah I'm, I'm still getting used to actually having that available to me anyways where are we what are we looking for we need either medjo berries it's like 50 medjo berries i'm pretty sure or a simple kibble. Actually, we can just grab both, really. We got Oh, we got five. Oh, snap. Except this is augmented kibble. I don't know the difference. <laughs> I'll take it all anyways. All right. And then we can just teleport back, I'm pretty sure. Last remote location. Lucky, because I have no idea. Like, if I had to find my way back, I would have no idea where I came from. Anyways, must jobs. This is another dinosaur that I don't normally tame, by the way. I don't actually... I can't actually recall the last time I had a must jobs. But what better of a must chops to tame than a big old elder must chops? Look at him. Look at his big old head. Wait, can I give him a pat? I don't want to accidentally punch him or nothing. I think we can give him... I think we can give him... Here we go. You ready? No. Wait. Scroll out. Oh, we did. We gave him a pat. We gave him a pat. You ready? Oh, he's a cute little giant must... He's not a little must chops. He's a big boy. Anyway, so let's get to it. I don't know if he's going to like the kibble. I kind of hope he does, though. Do you like kibble? Do you like the kibbles? Is he... Hold on. Where's this? Oh, he does. Oh, he loves it. Yeah. Oh, that must jobs. Welcome to the squad. <laughs> you know what he looks like? Have you guys ever seen the Super Mario Brothers movie? Or the Mario? I can't remember what it's actually called. It's from the 90s. It was absolutely atrocious. They even made a book about it. Um, but it's actually kind of good in its own way. Anyways, the Goombas. You know the Goombas? The tiny little, like, Mario, Super Mario guys. And they're, like, little squashed down. You jump on them, you squat. You know the guys I'm talking about? But them, in the movie, were, like, giant-sized people, bodyguard, bouncer-looking dudes with tiny little Goomba hat. It was weird. Okay? It was weird. Um, but it kind of reminds me of him. <laughs> Anyways. Let's take it for a spin. I want to see how this guy is going to sort out my mushroom problem. I don't know much about moss chops. Like I said, don't normally tame them. So I'm kind of excited to learn. Let's get learned. Let's get learning. It's actually really, really fast too. What's the bet? I guarantee right now, 
I'm going to stumble across the one that I wanted to tame. Anyways, how do I get mushrooms? Do we just harvest? Uh, they're good for berries. Okay. And fiber, as a matter of fact. That's a lot of fiber. But I'm not seeing my mushrooms. Do I actually need to go find mushrooms? Um, is there something in behavior? No. View harvesting. Oh, okay. How does this work? So if I level up melee damage, for example, and then get a little bit closer. I like his little dance. I'll take a little look at that in a second. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So plus sap harvest weight, uh, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, rare flower, rare mushroom. Okay. Leech blood and organic polymer. So rare mushroom harvest weight. Okay. So if I put all four levels into that, I thought he was going to do another little dance for us. We still not going to collect it like this. No, I think what we got to do, I think we still got to find rare mushrooms. And then we just gotta harvest the rare mushrooms with the giant moss chops. I think that's how we do this. Because this definitely ain't gonna get the job done. Ah. Oh. So we gotta, we gotta, but I don't know where the mushrooms are. That's the problem. That's the whole point. Unless, hey little dialer dude. Unless the other solution. All right. I think we're gonna have to take this guy out to the boggy biome. You know, the, the crazy, the boggy, the boogie bog, boggy, boggy, the, the atrocious place that I don't like going because we got blown up by a mess of biscuits. I think that's what we're going to do here. So, uh, Griffin, I hope my, I hope my most jobs ain't following me. Actually, wait a second. Once again, forgot we've got this bad boy right here. We can teleport a little bit closer. We can teleport to the red, the red obelisk. Man, I really got to start utilizing these teleporters because they're so darn helpful. I'm just, I don't help myself really. I don't help myself. I'll say, damn, this place be spooky. We haven't been here yet. I actually don't know what dinosaurs are native to this area. Little bit, little bit nervous, but uh, let's just, let's just get our butts off the ground to begin with. I bet you this is like a good place for mushrooms and I just don't know nothing about it. Uh, so we're heading towards this way. And then we're going to obviously have to teleport our moss chops over to the bug and we're gonna try and knock some trees down with him and we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens basically that's that's all there is to it uh this looks like a nice little test spot to try out our little to try things out a little bit there is a pavilonius that's fine that's a okay, okay by me okay so now that we're here we can teleport back who's a teleporter pavilonius why would you do this i was gonna let you live i really wanted to let the poor guy live but hey he didn't uh he didn't care about his life as much as I cared about it, I suppose. <laughs> All right, Moss Chops. Now it's time to take you for a bit of a spin. Let's go. We're going to the last remote location. And we're going to see. We're going to see what this uh, mushroom harvesting is all about. And maybe kill some dinosaurs along the way too. We'll see how we go. Anyways, first things first. Let's go. Melee damage, melee damage. So that should naturally increase our harvesting. Also, I said I was going to watch his little dance. <laughs> I missed it again. Uh, now, show me the mushrooms. Okay. No mushrooms. <laughs> well, that was a failed attempt at collecting mushrooms now, wasn't it? Oh, we got two of them. Hey, not what I'm looking for. I wanted I wanted hundreds of them. I wanted hundreds of them. You know, I realize I haven't even spoken about why we're looking for mushrooms. Hey, we're looking for mushrooms so I can get health potions and tranquilizers and tame more dinosaurs. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go check out the Wikipedia page and find out exactly where you're meant to get mushrooms. Where am I meant to harvest mushrooms? Find out. I'm going to get... Yeah. I'll be right back. And we're back. So here's what's up. And here's what I've learned. Um, I, I really hope that your comments are correct. So I got my advice from not just one comment, but many old comments. A lot of people were talking about this as a... What is that? Oh, it's a mantis. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Got an idea. Got an idea. Got an idea. Throw a, throw a, a, a experience potion in here. I don't care what we put the levels into. But this guy here. No, what are you doing? Stop. Ah. I was going to put some levels into organic polymer because apparently, well, it's Pavlonius. It, my dude here going to be able to collect polymer, right? Look at that. 98 of it. A ton of chitin. But we can also go and put harvesting levels into organic polymer. So I was like, we can increase the rate that we collect. Well, we tried. <laughs> we tried, but we didn't uh, We didn't get it done in time. All right, let's keep it moving. So what I'm going to go looking for is mushrooms. I know we're looking for mushrooms, but I'm going to actually look for like ground mushrooms. 
Um, I hope we're safe out here. Oh, gosh. There's some strong beasts out here. All right, let's just keep moving for now. Uh, we're looking for, like, you know, aberration mushrooms on the ground. I want to try and harvest those with this big old beastie boy right here. Just to see... Just to see what happens. Wait! He's got a right-click attack. Oh, don't tell me I was just harvesting wrong the whole time. Right-click. Still no mushrooms. Rare flowers, though. But only four of them. Right-click. Did I get... Oh, we got 15 rare mushrooms. Ooh. We are getting a few, but not like... Not like a game-changing amount. Also, this guy's really bad at navigating. He gets stuck on every little bit of, like, terrain. Not a great dinosaur to be, like, roaming around on. I'll tell you... Ooh. Wait, aren't these good for flowers? No mushrooms, I'm pretty sure, though. Am I collecting rare mushrooms or not? I don't think we are. Oh, all right. No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rare mushrooms. Eight of them. That's all. Oh, come on. You got to give me more than that. Or well, maybe I was using the right click the whole time. Anyways, uh, this isn't working out as I had planned. This is not meant to, like, am I just harvesting the wrong things? What are we doing wrong? Am I just really, really dumb? I think so. I think we all know the answer to that. You know what? I'm taking you home. I'm taking you home. We're going to die out here, let's be honest. So before that happens, let's just get our butts back out of here. I got some research to do. Or some clarifying at the minimum. I got some I got some comments to read. I'm sure you guys are going to tell me all about what I just did wrong. But either way, we did get some nice loot out of the guy in the end. We got us organic polymer. We got us a lot of chitin. That's actually something we've been missing out on. We got us some rare mushrooms. 26 of them. We also got 17 levels. So let me go on. At least get you nice and strong. And then we'll put a few levels into melee damage too. And then we'll get you nice and healed up too. Um, but he's just not... Yeah, he's not the mushroom harvester that I need. Unless... Hey. Are we supposed to go and smash up some beaver dams with this guy? I'm gonna regret even... Uh, what do you swim like? What do you... No, nah, he's a slow swimmer. <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave him on this island then. I was going to say, maybe I'll go take him to where the beaver dams are and we'll go and harvest those and uh, see if he just, like, I don't know, collects a bunch of mushies, but nope. We're just going to leave him right there. Right there at base. Safe and sound where nobody can hurt him or get to him. And uh, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to tame up... Oh, sorry. What I'm going to craft up is something that, again, got this idea from the comments. Seriously, I, I'm actually sorry I haven't been reading through the comments as um, as often, as commonly as, as uh, last series. Uh, I've just been feeling a little, I don't know, down. I can't really explain it. but um, And I, I kind of get a little bit scared sometimes about reading the comments in case I get like a little bit bullied <laughs> no, but you guys tell me what i'm doing wrong but i'm i've been reading a little bit more as of late and they're actually really really positive and i'm feeling very nice about it but what i what i was told to do in the comments and i don't know why i didn't get this idea sooner is to craft up an item collector um they've actually changed by the looks of it in this version of the s plus mod uh compared to previous or superstructures they used to be like a, a like a like a mine like an underwater mine um, that I've never really used as an underwater mine. In fact, I've never used that item at all. Um, but now, I guess it's a person. Um, so what we could do is place him here. <laughs> He's wearing... What is he wearing? Is that a... I'm, I'm confused. What's with the... Okay. It's a hazmat suit with a riot helmet, I think. And, like, he kind of looks like he's wearing a wingsuit. Where is this from? Doesn't look familiar. Anyways, uh, I, in advance, went and crafted up some propellants. Not much, because I can't, because I need more cactus sap and sulfur, apparently. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so you can you can power this guy up with either a tech generator or propellant, and he collects your items for you. And I'm assuming that I can deactivate poop. Hmm. Saying that, I do need... I, I, I am at some point going to need more fertilizer, so I think what we're going to do... Uh, is we're going to get a compost bin. And I'll I'll collect all the poop. And we'll, we'll turn it into compost. That's what we should be done for, doing for such a long time. I don't know. I don't know why I've uh, not been doing that. Also, why do you want to place... Wait. I think you can actually... Is that like... What's it locking? Oh, these lock to foundations? 
Okay, that is weird. I've never seen that before. That's that's interesting. All right. I just want this on the ground. Just want to just want to place it, you know, I'll place it over here, okay? And now I guess we could just go ahead and like wait. Oh. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I think this is actually pulling the poop straight off of him. I think he collects the poop and then he he throws it straight into the compost. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like that a lot. Um, however, I got to give him his propellant back. <laughs> Otherwise, he won't be powered. He won't keep collecting items for us. So yeah, we're going to leave this guy in the base for now. And he's going to he's gonna do item collecting things. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we're going to get a ton of compost. We can turn it into Gaia Nitro compost. And we're obviously going to pick up all of our eggs. But he's not collecting poop now. Or maybe he is? You're collecting poop? Or are you not collecting poop because this is full? Yeah, this is full. Oh, I see. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, we're making progress. That's the main thing here. We're getting eggs. That's all that matters. And uh, yeah, I guess we're slowly, slowly, slowly starting to make some solid progress around here. We can officially craft up a ton of Fabled Kibble. I'm going to do that right now. This is something we sort of got into last episode, but we couldn't craft up enough of it. We can now get another 10. Once we get this Fabled Kibble, I don't know what we're missing to get like more. Uh, let me just type in 10. Apex eggs. So basically, it's, it's only apex eggs. But now that we've got... Well, once this is crafted, we're going to have 11 Fabled Kibble. Where uh, we're going to be able to pretty much tame any Fabled Dinosaur that we want. And what I really, really want right this second is a Dirty Curious. Or an Ankylo. I just want something that's going to help us collect a ton of stone. And then we can finally go and move out of this... <laughs> this disgusting beach. We can go and move up into a stone base somewhere safe, safe long from here, which just also happens to be the safest place on this other than start map. Yeah, we're in the easy biome and we're still, we're still getting obliterated out here. You know what? Let's go and do exactly that right now. Let's go and see if we can find ourselves a Fabled Dodecurus or an Anklo. All we need, well, we've got the Fabled Kibble. I don't need these. Let's go and... Actually, that's a pretty good... I don't know if that's a good bow or not. I'm going to take it anyway. Just, just in case. That's actually a pretty good bow. Let me just, let me just throw it over here somewhere. Look, we've got so many blueprints. We'll, we'll sort through these one day. Anyways, let's go on a journey. I am coming home with a fabled dinosaur. Whether this game likes it or not. This wasn't the initial plan. But we're going to we're gonna do it anyways, okay? So I'm going to go and use my new remembered teleportation ability. This is where we live. That's where we teleported from. That's one beacon. I'm going up to the snow. That's right. We're teleporting. Teleporting. <laughs> New words. We're teleporting up to the blue snow. And hopefully, we don't die. I'm getting off the ground. I heard a noise. I don't like that noise. That noise is often, often followed by a death. Uh, anyways, I know that the Arctic type of area is a, is a pretty good spot when it comes to Ankylos and Dirty Curuses. It's just a matter of actually stumbling across one, I suppose. Uh, so, I'm, we got levels, apparently. More levels. Now that we've actually got a nice fortitude as well, we're not freezing our butts off out here, so that's quite nice. Uh, don't worry. I'm going to go and find this with, on my own. We've spent enough time searching for dinosaurs today. I'll I'll let you know when we find what we're looking for. Actually, actually hold, hold your horses. I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself. We did find a fabled ankler over here the other day. I just want to double check what level he was. We might have actually killed it. I think I actually killed it. Also, is that an alpha or is that a... That's an alpha dimorphodon. All right, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, an apex. I was like, we've got a nice alpha dimorphodon. Maybe apex is just on another level. Anyways, uh, let me search. I'll be back with you shortly. What in the world do we have here? I find a little ankylo. It's a... Oh, it's fighting a prune direwolf. Of course it is. Uh, oh, it's an alpha ankylo. Ooh. I mean, I would take an alpha. We don't necessarily need... A fabled. Also, you'd probably be able to tell we have already left the spicy old Arctic. Uh, wasn't finding what we were looking for out there after quite a bit of searching too, unfortunately. Uh, but this has been a bit of a lucky area as of late. We found... What did we... Oh, we got our elemental um, Mega Raptor out here. That's what it was. Uh, but I think, yeah, obviously we found an ankylo just a second ago. Um, oh, here we go. Look at this. Divine, divine... Not quite the types we're looking for, but we at least know that you can get the resource harvesting fellas out here. That's the main... Oh, Rock Drake. Don't need a Rock Drake, though. Let's keep searching. What is the noise? Oh. Oh. Is that what I... It's the Monica Unidon. 
<laughs> oh gosh. I remember. Oh, and a fire fella. Ah, uh, damn. These demonic hyenodons tormented us. Oh, and these little minions. They tormented us last time we played on the primal fear mod. Also, what is. Wait a second. Wait just a second. <laughs> You're joking. All right, buddy. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I think that might be, even be a bunch of primal catrosaurus. You're the one making the music. All right. Follow me. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. I don't want to get... Oh, we are like... Real, we really shouldn't be out here right now. Teasing a primal Kentro as well as a demonic hyena done, but we've led them both off the cliff. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, just for, you know, comparison's sake. Uh, both of these guys are in the millions of health. So we're going to leave them down there. That's they're, they're, they're like a whole journey for another day. But we have actually managed to stumble across... A Fable Dota Curious of level 540. So it's nearly max level as well. The only thing is, um, it's really, really, really low on health. Ah! What's that? What was that? Oh, it's the Fire Mega Raptor. Oh, you want some, do you, buddy? Uh, I'll happily. I'll happily. Will I happily fight you? Yes. Yes, I will. Uh, just let me heal up first. <laughs> These fire fellas. We learned the hard way. Well, not that we learned the hard way, but while taking down our frozen Mega Raptor or Icy Fella, <gasps> he's up. Uh, we learned how strong these guys are. All right. I'm going to have to deal with this guy real quick. And to be honest, it's going to be a worthwhile takedown because we're going to get some fire feathers from it too and some elemental hide. Nice. All right. He's up. There he is. Fantastic. Okay. 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 This is what I'm doing. We got some nice jobs, I think. Anyways, um, so we're going to knock the guy out, of course. What I'm a little bit worried about here is that because he is so low on health, if only I had some health darts. All right. I've actually got a plan. We know where we are. I'm going to teleport back to base real quick, all right? You'll understand why in a second. So Dirty Curious is when they take too much damage, they like they hide up in their little bowl, okay? Which is why you normally want to take them down with darts rather than arrows, because arrows do too much damage. Um, so what I'm worried about is that we're going to shoot him once or twice and he's just going to curl up in a bowl and he's not going to want to pop back out, basically. However, I wonder if we can use some of these on him. Can I afford these? Yes. Okay. Actually, how many of these can I craft? So I wonder if we can get some of these alpha things. And then possibly, I don't think we're going to be able to because I think we used up all of our little... Yes, we can. Okay, two of them. Two, 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 two. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So what I'm hoping for is that I can shoot him with some health darts and then maybe heal him up a little bit. I know. It sounds bizarre. It sounds silly. We're literally shooting health darts into a wild dinosaur to try and heal it up. But it just, it just feels like the right thing to do. It's, it, I feel like it's the only thing that's going to yeah possibly help us here so i also do not like that i can hear the crazy dinosaurs nearby we actually got to be careful and keep our eyes open so 26.6 thousand let's see if see if it works yes it does oh he's healing up all right there is a chance also i'm hot out here what even after all the levels into fortitude also just saw an apex hyena done all right let's get rid of him real quick he wasn't the one making music, but for some reason, the music stopped right then. Anyways, we have completely healed up this guy. Oh, look at that. Perfect health. Now, now we're in the clear. Oh, that's such a good idea. Miola, using your brain for words. All right, let's do it. I just don't want you going over that way. You can still hear the primal. It means he's close by. So, come on. Normally, ain't, yeah, normally these guys want to defend themselves. He's probably going to... I'm not going to lie. I should probably run for my life because... He's going to deal a lot of damage. He is fabled. He's level 540. These guys hit like a truck. That's the whole point of them. They smash rocks for you. So we're going to just be a little bit cautious. We've already got him down to 50% torpor. Go punch a rock or something, buddy. Go punch a rock. Where are you going? Yeah. All right. Now we're talking. Just don't jump off a cliff. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. We've actually done it. 10. He needs 10 fabled kibble. Oh, we got one extra as well. Oh, that is perfect. All right, I ain't wasting any time. We are going for the perfect team here. I am going to be sitting atop of my griffin here just in case things get a little bit out of hand. But 
That's something I did not intend to do today at all. I thought we were going to be doing tomorrow. This could not have gone any better. We've got ourselves a beautiful Fabled Dodi Curious. A level what, sorry? A level what? A level 809. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Back to base we all go before this giant hyena done. Before this demonic hyena done. Or the primal Kentro decides uh, that we stole their little... We stole their dinner. We literally came, cut their lunch, stole their dinner. And we have left with... Actually, are you a male or a female? I didn't even check. Oh, it's a male. If it was a female, that would have been even... That would, that would have been the only way this could have got any better. Because then we would have... Um, well, we would have had a good source of fabled eggs. But either way, have a look at this little guy. Awesome. Awesome. Couldn't have asked for anything better. And on that note, guys, we're calling it a day. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please go ahead. Bust that thumbs up and make it a rain. Those thumbs up, but most importantly, look at my nose. And have a fantastic day. Bye. For now.